Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to TFJ Studio, where we talk about the latest and the greatest in technology. Today, I'm excited to be joined by Sophia, our AI robot. She will be talking to us about a very important uh, topic, uh, water pollution. Thanks for having me, Paris. I'm excited to talk about this important topic. So, Sophia, let's start with today's big question. What are some of the biggest sources of water pollution? Well, the biggest sources of water pollution are agriculture, industry, and sewage. Agriculture runoff can contain pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. Industrial wastewater can contain heavy metals, toxic chemicals, and oil. Sewage can contain human waste, bacteria, and viruses. All of these pollutants can have a devastating impact on water quality. They can harm aquatic life, make water unsafe to drink, and pollute recreational waters. So, Sophie, as you mentioned uh, very rightly that water pollution is a major problem that affects uh, people all over the world. It can cause a variety of health problems, including diarrhea, we have uh, cholera, typhoid. It can also harm aquatic life and ecosystems. So, what's your take on that? Yes, water pollution is a very serious problem. It is estimated that over 1 billion people do not have access to safe drinking water. And every year, millions of people die from diseases caused by water pollution. So, fortunately, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there are a number of next-gen technologies that can help us mitigate the water pollution problem. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, these technologies, Sophia? Sure. Here are a few examples. Advanced wastewater treatment systems use a variety of technologies to remove pollutants from wastewater. These technologies can include membrane filtration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet disinfection. Stormwater management systems are designed to collect and treat stormwater runoff before it enters our waterways. These systems can include detention ponds, bias whales, and permeable pavement. The MPs are agricultural practices that help to reduce pollution from farm runoff. The MPs can include planting buffer strips, using precision agriculture techniques, and managing manure properly. Green infrastructure is a sustainable approach to managing water resources. Green infrastructure practices can include rain gardens, living roofs, and green roofs. Sensors can be used to monitor water quality in real time. This data can be used to identify and address pollution problems quickly. So, Sophia, could you tell us a little bit more in specific about these technologies in the areas that you just mentioned before? Brain filtration uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove pollutants from wastewater. The membrane allows water to pass through, but it blocks pollutants. Membrane filtration is a very effective way to remove a variety of pollutants from wastewater, including bacteria, viruses, and heavy metals. Reverse osmosis uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove pollutants from wastewater by applying pressure. The pressure forces the water to pass through the membrane, but it blocks pollutants. Reverse osmosis is a very effective way to remove a variety of pollutants from wastewater, including dissolved salts and heavy metals. Ultraviolet disinfection uses ultraviolet light to kill bacteria and viruses in wastewater. Ultraviolet disinfection is a very effective way to disinfect wastewater without using chemicals. Stormwater management. Detention ponds are used to collect and store stormwater runoff. The stormwater runoff is then slowly released into the environment over time. Detention ponds can help to reduce the amount of stormwater runoff that enters our waterways and can also help to filter pollutants from the stormwater runoff. Bias whales are shallow, vegetated channels that are used to collect and treat stormwater runoff. 
The stormwater runoff slowly flows through the bioswale, where it is filtered by the vegetation and soil. Bioswales are a very effective way to filter pollutants from stormwater runoff. Permeable pavement is a type of pavement that allows water to pass through it to reduce stormwater runoff and can also help to filter pollutants from the stormwater runoff. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, these are just a few examples of the next-gen technologies that are available today to help us mitigate the water pollution. With these technologies, we can make a significant progress in protecting our water resources and future generations. Yes, that's correct. Next generation water pollution prevention technologies have the potential to make a real difference in the fight against water pollution. Thank you so much uh, for your time today, Sophia. It was a pleasure talking to you about the water pollution and next generation water pollution prevention technologies. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it for this week of the podcast. If you have enjoyed our episode, please be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.